guys, it's Aji. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Aji and I make makeup and beauty related videos. So for this look, I made a rainbow Pride 2020 look um, because it's Pride Month. And um, disclaimer, I know I look like I'm naked, but I, I promise I'm not. I'm wearing a tube top. It's mostly going to be chit chat, but I'm going to voice over the chit chat because as you can hear, from the background noises if you can hear them two of my neighbors are renovating their houses so yeah <laughs> but first of all please subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot and um like comment and press the bell to get notified whenever i post new videos so without further ado come with me and let's do this fried makeup look the first step to my routine is applying some toner I used to apply moisturizer underneath but I found that using toner gives off a much stickier residue which helps the foundation adhere to my skin better. And now I'm just applying my base as usual. I think as a kid, I grew up to kind of be homophobic. I mean, no one really lectures a child on what's right and what's wrong because they're a kid after all. It wasn't until my mom heard me call someone gay as an insult that I realized I was wrong. She lectured me and told me that the word gay shouldn't be used as a derogatory term. From then on, I started to look at things uh, differently. And growing up, I realized that many of my family members are a member of the LGBTQ community. A lot of people who are close to me are also part of the community. I think growing up in a household where homophobia wasn't tolerated helped me shape my beliefs. It helped me build my moral compass. Essentially, it helped me realize what kind of people I want to surround myself with. Now I'm just packing on some loose powder on the tops of my cheekbones to help catch the fallout. <coughs> Here I'm just cleaning up my brow with a tiny detailed brush and using a bigger brush to apply concealer all over my eyelids to prime it. For this look, I'm going to use the Color Studio palette by Beauty Glazed. I've been meaning to do a review on this palette, but I just never got to it. So it's probably gonna come up soon when I have time to upload. But anyways, I'm going to apply the yellow, orange, and red shade on one eye. And I'm starting with a lighter color going to the darkest. So that means starting off with yellow, then orange, then red, and making sure to blend all of them properly. Growing up Christian, I think I've had a, a very weird relationship with not necessarily God, but just the church. Because... It's weird for me to see how an organization or how a group of people can claim to be followers of God who is loving, who is kind, and have them impose their very bigoted and very hateful beliefs on the community. I don't know, I think just over the years I've lost trust because I've personally seen and heard people use the word of god as a way to justify their hatred and um, disdain for gay people anyways now i'm just packing the green blue and violet on the other eye and starting with green and then violet and then blue just to make it easier to blend the two colors together again blend the colors properly use a fluffy blending brush to make sure that the colors blend into each other seamlessly What I'm doing here is creating the guide for the cut trees and then using a wet wipe to wipe away all the colors that run past the concealer. This will give the cut crease a more sharp and more crisp outline. After that, you can draw your cut crease without having the colors bleed into the concealer. I'm drawing a diagonal cut near the outer view of my eye and filling the whole area with concealer. Now that I've done the cut crease on both of my eyes, I'm going to take a white matte eyeshadow and using that to set the cut crease.
Here I'm taking the shade on the outer corner of my eye which is purple and using that to blend in the cut that we did on the cut crease a while ago. Even though we've made minor improvements, I still think that the Philippines is still lacking in terms of being progressive as a country. Yes, we've made films about the LGBTQ community, and yes, we've had them be represented in a few movies, but almost all of them is done in kind of a tone deaf way, and I think that there still is some room for improvement there. Given that they contribute a lot to our culture like, like Filipino slangs such as char and memes, um, we make fun of them a lot and we consider a lot of things that they do as comedy. I think because of that, we owe it to them to give them proper and better representation in media. Not only in media but legally as well. When, um, when the LGBTQ community fights for same-sex marriage, it's not for the approval of the church. It's because they want to get the benefits that heterosexual couples receive when they get married, such as tax exemptions, owning conjugal properties, and being able to adopt a child. Here I'm doing some reverse contouring which is essentially just applying some loose powder on the sides of your nose to make your contour more sharp and make your nose look more skinny. I remember last year doing a pride themed makeup look. Um, it's kind of similar to this look but I didn't have uh, multicolored makeup palettes back then so it turned out looking shitty as fuck. Uh, I tried to post it on Instagram but me being the perfectionist that I am, found it really ugly after a few seconds of staring at it so I immediately deleted it and I guess this is my way of trying to recreate that look with better tools and better makeup. So yeah. As an end to this mini rant or chit chat, I just want to say that no matter what sexuality you are, you're always loved, you're always valid, you're always accepted here and I just want to say that you're not bad, you're not any different and you're not you're definitely not a sinner for wanting to love or you know wanting not to love at all that's okay that's normal and that's valid end point is that i love you okay and um you're so strong for being able to make it this far you're so strong for standing in your ground even if society tells you that what you are is wrong and if you're hearing this right now, just know that I'm giving you a virtual hug and I hope that you stay as strong as you are right now. As a last step to this makeup look, I'm taking a small eyeliner brush and my Novo Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow and I'm using that to outline the cut crease we just made. This is going to elevate the look and make the cut crease look more sharp and crisp. Whether you apply it inside, then out, or outside to in is completely up to you. Do whatever makes you comfortable. Just keep your strokes nice and sharp to help apply the liner better. So yeah guys, that's it for this look. Thank you for bearing with my awful awful voice and now we cut to the part where I act like I'm pretty. Sorry for this whack ass ending. I know I'm pangit. This is vlog style. I'm holding the camera by myself and I'm on my bed. <laughs> I'm pangit ng sinong lighting. So, ayun. Um, before this video ends, I just want to say happy Pride Month to everyone. Um, I want to let you know that no matter what your sexuality is, you are gonna be loved 
and kahit na ganong karaming tao ang mag-shame sa'yo, just know that I'm here and I accept you for who you are, okay? Homo- homophobia is not going to be tolerated in this channel. <laughs> um, also, I want to say that uh, since it is Pride Month, don't come out as a joke. That's not a joke. That's a real struggle that gay people are experiencing. Um, also, I want to say that no matter how obvious someone is, kung kahit na obvious na lesbian sila, kahit na obvious na gay sila, if medyo malambot sila or medyo brusko sila mag-act, that does not give you the right to out someone. Coming out is a very hard thing to do. So, unless you're the one who feels the pressure that um, that certain person is feeling, then you don't get to take that opportunity away from them. Gets mo? So, ayun. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry for this ending. Um, I hope you like the look. I actually really like it. Sobrang ganda nung last minute na addition ko nung glitter. But, uh, yeah. Once again, happy Pride Month, everyone. Uh, if you like this video, consider subscribing and leaving a like. Comment what look you want me to do next. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!